I don't know what it is, but when using anything Fuji, the experience is great. Everything is clicky. You know when you're making changes and the user experience is out of this world compared to competitors. This is all subjective based on user, of course. When it comes to my user experience with this lens, I just have to say the lens does what you need it to do when you need it to do it and it doesn't complain about it. The focal range is 10 to 24, a 15 to 36 full frame equivalent with a continuous aperture of f4, which means the aperture stays at f4 from 10 all the way to 24. This lens is the hashtag wide angle lens that can get the shot, get it sharp, sharp enough to cut through all the competition lens lens. I say this because I've used some wide angle lenses covering the same focal range on Sony, Canon, Panasonic, and Olympus, and I have to say, in my own biased opinion, this lens outperformed the rest of them. This is also based on the fact that I only used the lens for five days and had not fully gotten through the honeymoon phase with this lens. I am not a pixel peeper. I do not check whether the lens is sharp edge to edge. The work I used this lens for did not require it, or I should say the clients just didn't care. Now this lens is great for vloggers, real estate and landscape photographers and some other area of photography that I may not be naming at the moment. And for the photographers who use Fuji that are looking for a wide angle lens that can do the job and do it well and then some. This lens is on the pricey side, coming in at around $999, but we'll say it's a little over a thousand when factoring in taxes. Would I recommend it? I would say yeah. Would I purchase it? The answer is also yes. Will I be keeping it? The answer is no, and that is because I cannot justify the purchase based on the camera I am using it with. Don't get me wrong, I love using the Fuji X-H1. I talked about this camera before. See, you can find it in the cards and the links in the description and you can search for it on my channel with all the other gear and stuff I talk about. But based on my collective experience of the two paired together, they are a great pair, but the X-H1 battery life is garbanzos and on days where I have more than one shoot, I'm constantly switching out batteries. Well, I was constantly switching out batteries. And some of the other quirks of the camera just doesn't justify the purchase based on what I'll be using it for. When using the camera and the lens or just using the camera, there's a slight bump in the workflow, some changes that kind of slow me down, but that doesn't mean this isn't a great purchase for you. This just might be the lens you're looking for. The only way you will know is if you test it out. Don't let my experience dampen yours, but only push you to get out there, try it out and have fun while doing so. And that is it for today. Stay awesome.